I got a dream. The Holy Spirit was reminding me recently. I just gotten married to Mr. Sarumaga and I'd spent three years in marriage. And I got a dream when I'd gone to heaven. And that heaven where I was, there were two gates. I remember one gate, it had two soldiers, two gentlemen, but they were so tough. They were dark and tall. What I remember, they were not joking, they don't joke at all. And then there was another gate. In that other gate, I don't remember very well, but I know in that dream it was Jesus. So we were in a line. When you first got in that first gate where there were the two giant dark men. When the only thing that can make you cross the gate with two gentlemen to go to the gate of the Jesus, you just have to raise your Bible like this. That when you raise the Bible like this, you can pass. It was the identity that makes you cross that other gate. If, if you don't have a Bible and your hands are empty, you've got to there was a place full of fire that those who don't have Bibles were sent there by these men. So I was in the line at the back. But the time I came looked, and I was asking, why are these ones going to the side of Jesus? And I saw it's the Bible that takes you by. And Miss Sarah never had a Bible. And my heart started to wane. And I was seeing the line was a, the line was moving and they were about to reach me. And these men, five men and women, they were about five ahead of me. Most of them didn't have the Bible. And, and when this gentleman point you to some place, you just go. He just points you to a place where those without Bibles go. You just start crying there and then wait, they point you to that place. So so I reach. I was saying in my heart, I'm going to beseech to them so that they allow me. I reached these men. Hey. Because I beseeched, I cried, I wept, I lamented, but they were pointing to that place of fire. As I was still in that same when I'd given up knowing there was no more mercy for me. In that dream I saw man who I remember in the other gate was Jesus. And he came in shining clean clothes. That's why he speaks with these men who keep this gate. And he told them, leave her. Let us give another chance. You go back. You go back the world. Read the word. Do the word. Those are the words I heard. Read the word. 
I was in a terrifying situation I cannot explain to you. I've also ever visited heaven. I hear people say I visited heaven. I've also ever reached there. My heaven was so hard because I wept a lot. What, what hurts me in the dream the people were the Bible there were very few what hurts me in that line I was in people who had the Bible and raised it up there were very few. I still didn't have the Bible we were many were mouthed I don't know if Mr. Surumaga remembers the dream. I left the dream with a lot of tears and held him so close. And asked me what is it? And I started to explain to him. I told him I was going to die, I was going to hell. And I told him I've never seen such a thing. My ears still hear the things I had in that dream. I heard people crying. It wasn't even crying, it's something I cannot have explained. It was more than crying lament. I heard cries. I heard cries that I've never heard ever since I was in this world. Jesus saved me from that fire in the dream. And this time round, there is no excuse for me. Because I know if I'm to inherit eternal life, I have to have a Bible as the word of God. But not only having the Bible, but when I walk to what the Bible says. And one time I know how to laugh at myself. And I say, Mrs. Sarasamaga. Jesus saved you from death. Why don't you read the Bible and walk it? Remember that, I remember that time after the dream when I clung and took Mr. Serumaga from the dream. He asked me a question. How many times do you read the Bible in a day? I couldn't tell him two or three times. I didn't have that. When that moment, I would read the Bible when I feel like reading it. But ever since I saw that fire, I encouraged myself to also start reading the scriptures. I have come to tell you today according to what I saw in the dream many years back what will make us inherit the kingdom of God is the word of God. When you read it not only reading it but you did the word. Jesus taught to the other men in the dream that give another chance. Let her go back that she reads the scriptures and put them in action. So that's what I know that reading the scriptures and putting them in action they don't only give you victory in this world but also in the life that's coming after the word of God when you read it when you understood it and you put it in action that's what will make you victorious I have certain it on it I have certain it on it I had them Jesus came 
Na yogera na abas bana nge buli omwi abasajja bali siba kwagalizo basinka ne. I don't wish any one of you to meet the other men we I met. Chagala boba wakubasinka na. I want you if you're to meet them. Go in a Bible mungalo. When you have the Bible in your hands. Bali abasajja bakambwe. Those men are tough. Bali abasajja tebasaga. They are fierce. They don't joke. Bali abasajja tebaina gwe bamanyi gwe bauliriza. They don't know anyone. They don't listen to anyone even though you be sick. Chebe munya kubasajja bali tebaina gwe bawachi. They don't honor anyone. They don't ask you any other thing. You just reach before them when you only have to raise your Bible. If you don't have, you have no excuses to make. If you don't have the Bible, those of the world the men who got different gates in the world they can maybe perhaps let you pass there are places I've gone by when I just given the Askari 1,000 shilling there also get gadmans you've passed by perhaps by tipping off with some money and then they let you pass but the get I saw in the dream the get I saw in the dream, dear brethren, your 1,000 cannot work. Even though you have silver and gold, you cannot use that. Even though you're the most honorable person on this world, your honor doesn't work. One of the things I remember about those men, they don't honor anyone. I went by that gate by the grace of God. People die when they're sleeping. Perhaps I had also died. I don't know. I would have woken up in the morning when I'm dead. And then you start, the lady has been born again. She loves the Lord. But when the heavens, when the God men at the gates, when, when they're pointing to a place full of agon and tears, I want to tell you, if you're to be victorious, you ought to stop joking with matters of God. Today you're here, the following day you're being announced dead. And the death of Bishop brought a lot of understanding to me. I don't Bishop it's hard for me to believe that the time you are remaining with Bishop will never stand here and power pit again. Bishop, Bishop departed. I don't know who is next. Perhaps it's me or you. But fight as much as you can, my brethren. And you pass by that gate. I beseech you praying to God that he gives you the grace that you walk when you know that there is a place that you cannot just take by yourself as you. It's the word of the Lord that will make you pass by that place. When you read it and then you walked according to it. I'm winding up. It was a long line, a long queue. But people who were going the side of Jesus were countable. One, two, you would count them. But those going the other side with fire, agon, and tears, there were many. 
I want to ask you if Jesus calls you now can you pass by that gate that has those two tough men do you have the identity do you have the word of God did you walk according to the word of God it's what will save you I didn't have the Bible in that dream. And sometimes I become foolish. And I felt read the Bible and then I started laughing at myself. You who saw the fire and you were just saved. And you also be there without reading the Bible. Brethren, I want to awake you. That same, the knowledge you have, having known the Bible, the scriptures and all things, is not going to save you. But hearing and doing, knowledge and doing is what will make you pass by that gate that I saw in the dream. Which side are you? Jesus had mercy on me and told the God men, let her go back. Perhaps you could say Jesus will come out that time and you say, let her go out. I'm not sure if Jesus will do that for you. And I cannot promise you that. I just saw when Jesus had saved me. But before Jesus saved me, I cried a lot. I had a lot of terror and I've never got such kind of terror the years I've spent in this world. Many things have terrified me but the one of pointing me to go to hell terrified me so much. Those men only hear Jesus, they only listen to Jesus, not any other person. They don't listen to any other person. Just think about your brethren who have gone without the Bible. Think about the born again who have departed from this world but they don't have the identity. Think about the born again who have not yet departed this world but they don't have the identity. I don't mean that you don't have the Bible. You have it in your bag or perhaps at home. You have it. But I'm talking about the Bible you've known, you've read and started doing according to it. Because even the Muslims have the Bibles in their homes. Even the sorcerers have them. But for a sorcerer having the Bible will not make him or her pass by that gate. But did you believe in the word? Did you walk the word? Did you do the word? Did you obey the word? You're going to be victorious. I saw it with my eyes. If you believe in dreams as true, I, I saw countable people who had the Bible going to where Jesus was. And you don't make excuses, you just lift it up, you rise 